What's up? Hey, here I am, drinking beer with you again. A couple beers from Massachusetts, Greater, Greater Good Brewing Company. It's an imperial. They claim to be America's first all-American, America's first all-imperial brewing company. This beer I drank earlier. I absolutely love it. I'm going to drink it with you here right now. Eight percenter. Where did it go? Boom. Eight percent alcohol by volume. Um. Where are they from? Worcester, Worcester, Massachusetts. Kind of a rare beer here for someone in Sacramento, California. You kind of have to seek it out. Maybe have some connections. Maybe go to the source, drive it back, get it on the plane somehow, whatever. But I got it here. I'm going to drink this bad boy. I can tell you this is good. It's good beer. I like it. So what they mean by the America's first all imperial brewing company is that they make beers that are only going to be seven and a half percent alcohol by volume or higher. And um, that's pretty cool. I thought there was another brewery that did that, but I, I'm not going to go look and verify that. I'm just going to enjoy this beer. It's an independent brewery. Support your local independent breweries and your international national breweries as well. Anyways, you can see I poured this bad boy out. It's not super hazy. It's yellow, orange, kind of burnt orange. Ah, the smell is just to die for this. It's just so juicy. I absolutely love these New England style IPAs. This is actually from New England. Legit. From the source. Ah, just bright, citrusy, little like orange kind of smells there. Um, yeasty, a little sweet, a little honey. Let's give it a taste. Hmm, that was good. A um, little bit of a hot bitterness there at the end. Good mouthfeel, not super soft. Is that usually a New England IPA is going to be like have a very soft water profile. It's going to be very pillowy. This one didn't have that pillowiness. It had like a little bit of a little bit of a harder water profile. What it tasted like, but it ended very smooth and tropical. Next beer, GG Good Vibes, same brewery. 8.2% alcohol though. Where's 8.2? Boom. New England style. I can tell you this beer is way different than the last one I just drank. But it has similar qualities. You can see the color's a little more murky. It's a little more cloudy. A little more cloudy. But um, that's what a New England IPA should look like, in my opinion. Um, they don't have style guidelines at the Beer Judge certification program for a New England style IPA. They just have like alternative or fruited beers, um, alternative categories and whatnot. However, this is classified as an IPA. However, going back, if you just want to like see, talk about what the characteristics of a New England IPA is, it should be cloudier like this one. The last beer, this one right here, wasn't as cloudy. It's still labeled the same as a New England IPA, but there's not guidelines on that, official guidelines as of now. You just have to kind of know it if you drink these kind of beers or if you care. But this is the, the correct uh, cloudy profile right here. Very cloudy, cannot see through it. <sighs> Very juicy, awesome smell. They use Ella hops in this. I read the back of the can. You can read it yourself here or listen to my podcast where I kind of go into a little bit more depth. Just pause it and read that if you want. But Ella hops are the primary Australian hop that they use for this beer. And I can smell the awesomeness. Just a bright, like, dinky citrus, um, sweet honey. Kind of like the last beer, but a little bit more spicy, I guess. A little more spicy. All right, let's give it a taste. Smoother mouthfeel. Um, it kind of dies out at the end a little bit. So there's not as much hop residual bitterness. There's not as much residual sweetness. It just kind of dies, like finishes. Now I can taste a little bit of that hop coming through, like that hop bitterness. But this la this first beer that I had kind of had more of a, a bright, lingering taste. And this one kind of just dies down on the tongue. And you kind of get like a little bit of that spice 
hop spice there at the end. Um, overall, very good beers though. Very appreciative of my hookup for getting this to me. Um, good beer. I got a few more of these, which I might drink later tonight. And that's about all I have right now. Short pot, short podcast YouTube video for you, just to give you a visual of what I do um, when I'm drinking beer on the weekends. So take care of yourself. Have a good weekend. And uh, I'll be back soon.